Hello everyone, I am Kiko and this is Sapporo University aka Satsidai. So today we're going to be walking around and kind of showing you the campus and how it looks like because I know people who study abroad or want to study abroad here in Sapporo want to see how the campus looks like. So that's what we're going to do today and we're going to start from the entrance, the east entrance which is also the main gate or the main entrance. So let's go. All right, so as we're walking, that over there, those buildings over there, I'm pretty sure those are not part of campus. Uh, they're just there to look pretty. You don't have to put that in. And that, I'm gonna assume that's the tennis courts. I don't know, I don't play sport. <laughs> I don't play sport. I think it is the tennis court. <laughs> all right. It's all snowy right now though. Oh, so it's really snowy, yeah. Can't see anything. Alright, so once you actually get to like the actual inside of the university, you got, this is where the library is. Yeah. Um, and then under the library there's like a little, I guess, study spot. It's called Switch. It's called Switch. And yeah. And people go there to study, um, just hang out, talk. Uh, across the street from the library is the cafeteria. Uh, there's two buildings, Linden, Linden Hall East and Linden Hall West. They are both places to go sit down and eat. Downstairs is a little conveni kind of like a little convenience store, you could buy some stuff there. Alright, so the university here isn't that big. I say it's not that big, it's about, I want to say... Eight buildings? Would you say that many? I guess, it's not that ten? Many yeah, it's not that many buildings. Like, <laughs> if you look over here, there's like a little circle drive right here and pretty much that's like your main area there is really nothing else beyond that um, that big building over there is the central building that's where you like register for classes drop out of classes this building right here this is where the sweet uh the sweet sweet room yes and that's where you go to get help if you're an international student you go there they help you out so we're gonna go in there first and just kind of check it out These guys right here, these guys right here are the, are the university mascots. It's two little bears, two cute bears. And I guess the name is Sap and Unipon. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cute. All right, so this is Week, aka the Intercommunication Center. This is where international students come to get help if they need help or have any problems. Um, students come here to talk or study or eat their lunch. We're not going to go inside right now because I don't want to interrupt any of the studying they're doing. But you kind of see how the room looks like from over here. <laughs> so this is the second floor of building number six, aka the building with Sweek. Sweek is on the first floor, this is the second floor. So we come this way. I personally never come to this area, but this is the daycare, I guess. This is, it's called Stove, Sapporo University Child Care and Support Center. I never come here. I have no reason to come here. <laughs> I will keep walking down this way. You have some really nice black looking mirrors. You know, take a good selfie here. Walk a little bit further, you got the S Core Sapporo University Dance Communication Lab. Well, what that means is they come here and practice dancing, you know, um, for whatever performances they have. Um, what's it called? Oh, you got some people dancing right now. And then towards the end, we got just some bathrooms, nothing too special. Let's go back down this side of the second floor. We got a little area called Switch, and this is for the ladies, the girls out there. You come here, it's pretty much a makeup room. Um, no guys allowed, ladies only. Very useful for girls who didn't do their makeup in the morning, have to do it late. 
really nice makeup room. You can find pictures of it, of the inside online, but I can't go inside because, you know, 100% man here. <laughs> Alright, so switch was back there, but if you come down this way, this is where the library is at, um, crossing this little tunnel. Now one good thing about Sapporo University is once you enter the buildings, all the buildings are connected through these tunnels, so you don't have to go outside when you go to your next class, which is very, very convenient in my opinion, because you know it's snowing outside, yep. and we don't want to go outside, so we're going to take these tunnels from now on. Except if you want to eat, then you have to go outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the library, and the library is a quiet place where you study. Believe it or not, you can't really go in there and talk or eat. It's just a strictly study place. And you have some lockers over here. You're trying to get the lockers. <laughs> and those lockers are meant for your backpacks, like if you have. Uh, you can't really bring a lot of stuff in there, so if you have too many stuff, you can leave it here in these lockers. It's just so you can go study. So. We're going to keep walking around this way. Alright, so we just entered another building through the tunnels. And I lied to you guys, the only buildings that are not connected through the tunnels are the cafeteria. So you actually have to go outside to get to the cafeteria. And right now we're using a rain door because there's classes going on, so let's keep walking. This is the first floor of building number one. And right here is like a little chill area to just relax and talk. And right over there, I like to call it the vending machine room because you can um, get some food from the vending machines like ramen. Today we're going to make some ramen. Alright, so here we got a machine. It's about 120 yen. Ah. No, gotta cut this footage out. Alright, so we got the ramen here. Hot water. All right, the hot water's in there. So the reason you put it halfway is so you can like close it back up. Um, people go there to talk, people go there to study, and people go there to eat. It's kind of like sweet, except there isn't any uh, separate university staff in here. It's like mainly only students. On this side right here is the west entrance. The east entrance is the main entrance. The west entrance is over here. And we're not going to go check it out right now, but pretty much over there is where like the baseball field is, the soccer field. It's just like a, a place where people go and practice sports. That's pretty much what the West entrance is. And I want to keep walking this way. Alright, so we just exited out of the central building. And we didn't really want to film in there because, you know, there's some serious workers in there. But anyway. That over there is the east entrance where we first started. Over there, that building right there is just classrooms pretty much, so it's not really worth going over there. And the cafeteria is the only one that's separate from the rest of the buildings. In order to get there, you have to walk outside. I know, sad, but here we go. <laughs> So here are the cafeteria buildings. Um, that's where the, the convenience store is. Upstairs is the cafeteria. Upstairs you can sit down and eat, order food. Over here you can also sit down and eat and order food. So it's like. Cafeterias, two different cafeterias, but essentially the same thing, right? Yeah. Yes. More space to eat. Yeah, more more places to eat, more options. I think it's pretty nice. But it's mainly like ramen and gyudon type of food. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and, curry. and curry. It's really cheap too. Yeah. Like, you're not going to find any pizza around these parts. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Alright, so that was a pretty good movie, huh? Yeah. yeah what did you think of it? I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah, I thought it was funny too. Yeah, so this chicken is really good. It's like that. It's like the perfect combination of chicken and lemon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the? Huh? 
you walk down a little bit um, down the north path, you come across Floodin. This is where all the clubs meet. Um, you know, you know, groups, clubs, um, organizations, whatever. You know, if you want to join the club, this is probably gonna be the meeting spot. And then over here, I mean, just some buildings that have nothing to do with the university. Yeah, and then you just keep walking down this way, you eventually exit the university. I mean, that's pretty much all there is to see. That's most of campus. Um, it's not that hard to get lost. It's a small university. And yeah, hopefully we helped you guys out a little bit. And if you have any questions, contact the university. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Enjoy the rest of your trip.